Hello everybody! Welcome to my new video series where I plan to create video shots of like 10 minutes each to solve problems that we have on a daily basis. In this first video I'm going to explain how to select the default value on a select menu option using reactive forms, so let's get started. So having in mind that we have something like this, we have three items, item 1, item 2 and item 3, we expect to have here and as we can see also the code, we have three different items and the question here is how can I select pre-select pre-select meaning how to display the selected item in the browser having these options and for this one I use reactive forms and if I go back to the component what I can see is that I have just a selected item which is a new form control instance and that's why I have here the form control directive and again the question is how can I select for example this one so since we have the value what we have to do is simply provide here the value item and if we can go on the browser we can see that this is the item 2 and also this one is the value the selected value of this item and of course if we change it this also change so this is how we select items in the select menu with predefined items the next the next thing is how about if we have some options without having at all the values so like this one i have item one item two and item three let me delete this one and let's go also in the browser and what we can see is that we have item one item two and item three as you can see at the time that i select something during the interpolation I can see the exact same value this means that if I want to select for example this one the item 2 to pre-select the item 2 in the browser what I can do is simply have here item 2 let's see it's the same item 2 and if I save and go in the browser we can see this selected so this is the the other one and now let's see what about now if we want to have predefined item sorry if we do not have to pre have predefined items but have dynamic items something like i have my items and this is going to be an array of item one item two and the other one to be item three so i have those three those three items what i have to do i have to go here and have an ng4 let item of items, sorry, long, long key binding. Let item of items. I will delete these. And what I'm going to do is have here in the interpolation the exact item. Right? So let's see. We can see that we have item one, item two, and item three. And as soon as I select something, we can see the selected item in the interpolation. But what about now if I want not to have, because if I reload, what we can see is that immediately we have the item 1 selected. I don't want to have this. What I'm going to do, I will create another, another option with the value select. Right? And we can see that this one is the selected. Now, if I select item one, this is what I have. And if I select this, I can see this select. But you know what? I don't want to, persi to persist in this form control value, this keyword. So instead of doing this, what I'm going to use in this option, I will use the ng value. And I will provided with the value null. Now, as soon as I select item 1 and go back to select, I have here null. Similarly, I'm going just for the sake of consistency, I'm going to have here the exact same attribute and be like for the ng value, I want to persist the item. And this is exact same thing. As you can see, 
either having the ng value or not doesn't make any difference, right? But what about now if I don't have it here and I want me as a user, I want to pre-select some items in the browser. For example, as soon as I load the browser, I want the item two to be pre-selected. What I have to do, I have simply to copy this value and be like, this is the item that I want to have pre-selected. But still, we can see here the select and not this one. Why? Because we need to have the ng value directive. So, if we have here the ng value directive with the item and go to the browser, we can see this item selected. This is the third, the third thing. And now let's go and see something else. What about if those items are not just string values, but they are like an array of values, uh, object values. What I'm going to do is the following. So I'm going to create here the key, and this is going to be one, for example, and the value, the value should be the item one. This thing. And I'm going to do the exact same thing two more times. And here. So this is item two, item two, and item three, and item three. How can I select now these items? We're going to use the exact same thing here, ng4. We need to iterate over the items. We have this item, and this item is either this one, this one, or this one, right? And what we display here is all the object, but what we want to display is not the object, but we want to display just the value. Let's go to the browser. And we can see that we have item one, item two, and item three. Nice. And what we have here in the ng value is all the item. And the thing now is, how can I pre-select something? Having in mind the previous implementations that we provided all the object or all the item value, can I do this here? Or to be precise, let's pick this one. Can I do this here? No, so this is not correct. Although that we can see that this is uh, what, we, that what we set, we do not see the item selected in the menu. To do this properly though, what we have to do is let me change the order and have the form control here. In order to select a specific item from an array, what we have to do is provide the index of the array. So if we're going to have this item selected, you have to provide the exact index of the array. So Angular needs to have the reference of the array. And this is how we select items. Uh, item one, item two, item three, and if we select this one, we have just null. And again, if I reload, this is what we can see. In this video, we'll capture how to set default values in options. Thanks for watching.